Hi everyone, welcome to Adding 10 Mini Masterclass. Now you've done a week on place value, These, this is a sneak preview as what we will be doing coming up this week. When you add 10, the tens number will change. Going up in tens, the ones will stay the same. The tens number goes up by one. Add one, ten, and you'll be done. When you add ten, the tens number will change. Going up in tens, the ones will stay the same. The tens number goes up by one. Add one, ten, and you'll be done. A place value chart helps us to name a number as well as seeing how many groups of ten and how many ones make up that number. And we've done lots of work on that this week, haven't we, in class? Let's warm up and name that number. Remember what we did last week? First you count the tens, then you count the ones. What number is on the board? Shout it at me now or pause the video if you need a little bit more time. So let's count the tens first. How many tens are there? There are one, two, three tens. And how many ones? That's right, just one. So this is the number 31. Well done. What about this number? First you count the tens, then you count the ones. Let's have a go, see if you were right. There's one, two, three, four, five, six tens, and one, two, three, four ones. So that is the number 64. What about this one? First you count your tens, then you count your ones. It's quite a lot of tens there, isn't there? Okay, let's have a look. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens, and one, two ones. What's that number? Shout it at me now. That's right, 92. What about this one? Oh, there's just one ten. What do we call a number with just one ten? When there's just one ten, we say teen. Okay, let's see how we write this number, shall we? There's one ten and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. So that is the number eighteen. Eighteen. How can we use how can place value help us add ten quickly and in our heads? So when we add ten, we put one more in the tens side. So the tens number will change because we're going to put one more in there. We won't be adding any more ones though, so the number in the ones side will stay the same. Let's work out 24 add 10. So at the moment we've got two tens and four ones. Now, if I'm going to add a 10, will I still have two tens or will that change? And will anything happen to the ones if I'm adding a 10? Okay, there we go. I've added a 10 and I don't have two 10s anymore. I have three 10s because two add one is three. And I didn't touch the ones, so I've still got one, two, three, four ones. So now I have 34. Let's have a look how we write that down. So 24 add 10. If you look at the tens numbers, 2 add 1 is 3, and in this sum it's 2 tens add 1 ten is 3, and that number has changed. The number 4 has stayed the same, the units are the ones number hasn't it, because 4 add 0 is 4. Okay, are you ready to add 10? When you add 10, the tens number will change. Going up in tens, the ones will stay the same. The tens number goes up by one. Add one ten and you'll be done. When you add ten, the tens number will change. Going up in tens, the one will stay the same. The tens number goes up by one. Add one ten and you'll be done. What would 23 add 10 be? Which number is going to change? The tens number or the ones number? Okay. So we've got 23 at the moment. If I add 10, I've got 1, 2, 3 tens now. And we didn't add any ones. We've still got 1, 2, 3 ones. So 23 add 10 is 33. Okay, what about 61 add 10? I won't have six tens anymore if I put another ten in there, will I? How many will I have? Let's put it in the tens chart and see. 
Okay, so I've not got six tens anymore. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. And I've still got the one, one. So we've got 71. 61 add 10 is 71. What about 12 add 10? If I add one more 10, I won't just have one 10 anymore. How many 10s will I have? That's it. I've added a 10 and now I've got two 10s. And I didn't add any ones. I've still got two units. So 12 add 10 is 22. What about 40 add 10? If I add another 10, I won't only have four 10s, will I? Pause the video and let me know how many 10s I will have if I put another 10 in the 10s box. There it is. We've not got four 10s anymore. Four add one is five. So we've now got five 10s. We didn't have any ones to start with and I haven't added any ones. So that number needs to be a zero. Otherwise, we might think that we had five little cubes if we didn't end the number in zero. But we know they're towers of 10 and 40 add 10 is 50. Okay, let's see if we can work these out without the chart. What would 33 add 10 be? So you need to think to yourself about, think about the tens first and then the units after. So in 33 add 10, what's 3 Three tens, add one ten. How many tens would that be? That's right, three add one is four. Let's look at the orange now, they're the ones. Three add nothing is three, so 33 add 10 is 43. What about 56 add 10? What's five add one? That will give you the number of tens. Five add one is six, isn't it? Well done. And 6 add 0, well, we know the 1s will stay the same. So 6 add 0 is 6. And 56 add 10 is 66. What about 72 add 10? 7 10s add 1 10. It's just the same as doing 7 add 1 in your head. What's 7 add 1? That's right, it's 8, isn't it? And we're not changing the ones. 2 add nothing is still 2. So 72 add 10 is 82. Fantastic. What's 15 add 10? Let's break it down and do the 10s first and then the 1s. 1 10 add another 10. 1 add 1 is always, that's right, 2. And we're not adding any 1s. 5 add nothing is still 5. So 15 add 10 is 25. We're going to be doing lots more work in this in class. This was just a mini introduction. Thanks for watching. See you next time.